Hello my friends, I'm back to cover more hidden gem VR games which have been long forgotten over the years, and I think deserve more exposure. I'm quite confident that you'll discover some new treasures in here. Let's get started with a very enjoyable game that I've never heard anybody else talk about. Rangi is a beautifully abstract puzzle game inspired by art and architecture from across the African continent. To me, it felt like a mix of a water pipe game and Monument Valley, the iOS game. And at times, I even felt as though I had stepped inside Monument Valley in VR. Your task is to guide the paths of energy to the end goal of the level. But the end color needs to match the gate, so you'll need to be deciding which colors to mix together as you go. It sounds really simple, but every few levels a new game mechanic is introduced to change things up whether it be switches, rotating rooms, etc. The puzzles stay fresh and challenging. It never got stale. There are a few levels that are like races against environmental traps. You have to think quickly to avoid getting killed Indiana Jones style. Thankfully, the game allows you to skip these if you have trouble with them. This game simply has an amazing atmosphere, and playing inside these massively vast arenas with the beautiful soundtrack is really enjoyable. I was able to beat it in about two hours, but there is some replayability here as there are hidden artifacts you can look for throughout the game. This is a really unknown hidden gem at the great price of $10. Cosmic Trip is a real-time strategy game that came out way back in 2017. I remember it feeling very well polished back then, and I think it has aged incredibly well and still holds up today. You start out at your home base and you begin harvesting crystals with your worker bot. Crystals are the main currency of the game. After acquiring some resources you build buildings, with which you can build an army of battle bots. Your goal is to build up your army and then find and destroy the alien heart. You can command your bots to do most of the attacking for you, but you also have weapons at your disposal so you can attack alongside them, or defend your base yourself if you're running low on bots. The game mechanics take some getting used to, almost every aspect of the gameplay is a new way of playing a strategy game that I haven't seen anywhere else. It's nice that it's refreshing, but give yourself time to figure it out. It's worth the learning curve. All of the interactions are very tactile. You physically push buttons, insert discs, and throw bots. It's a very satisfying way to play with the motion controllers. If you're not in the mood for pure strategy, there's also the chill game mode, which lets you freely play however you want and enjoy the scenery. The game performance is fast and responsive, and the visuals are pleasing for the eyes with its bubbly and colorful style. For strategy fans, it's absolutely worth the $20 price tag. There hasn't been a game quite like it before or since. And from the same developer, Starbear Taxi is a delivery game in which you need to deliver passengers and cargo to various destinations in a cute and charming world. You control your taxi by tilting your motion controller and propelling in that direction. It's pretty intuitive, you'll be up and running in no time. The entire game is beautifully designed and animated. There's charm everywhere you look, with so many things to appreciate and see. It's a great example of high attention to detail by the developers. 
This game is obviously family friendly, but I found the later levels to be really challenging. There's something for everyone here. It's priced perfectly at $5, and it's an amazing casual game. She's an actress. She lies for a living. Bonsoir, gentlemen. Have the police arrived? No, not yet. Would you please come to the dining room, mademoiselle? The Invisible Hours. Nikola Tesla has invited some prestigious guests to his private island mansion. There is a murder, and a fascinating mystery narrative unfolds with you as an invisible observer. So you're famous, Miss Bernard. <laughs> you flatter me, Monsieur Gustave, but an actor does not seek fame. We seek only truth. You exist as though you're standing there, but no one can see you and you can't change anything. It's pure immersive theater. You can go wherever you want, follow any character you want, and you're in full control of time. You can pause and resume the story, rewind, and fast forward. The writing is top-notch, with both the overall plot and the character dialogue. The voice acting is also excellent. It never felt campy, and the characters had me engaged from the very beginning. You know the house. Right then, take this. Search each floor and report back to me. We are just met. I trust you. I could be the killer for all you know. No, you couldn't. Because when I met you out in the rain, there were no footprints around you. As the plot thickens, the individual characters' stories get really interesting, and I was surprised quite a few times. There is some interaction in the form of item hunting, and there's lots of game achievements for finding various items like diaries and photographs. Nothing. Monsieur Tesla, I'm afraid your bizarre offer to make my mistake undone falls on deaf ears. But like I said before, you can't actually change anything. For the completionist, there's a lot to find. The mansion is huge, with many rooms and secrets to find. The pause menu features a powerful interface that allows you to see who you followed, where they were at the time, and the ground that you've covered. It's really handy for finding parts that you've missed. I bought this full price at $30, and I got about 5 hours of play out of it after going back and following every character through the story. But even then, the game says I'm only 75% complete out of all of the things there are to find. So comparing that to going to the movies, or going to a play, and I think I got my money's worth. All these years later since its original release, and The Invisible Hour still impresses me. Playing this has formed a special memory for me that I won't forget. It truly is an experience like no other. I recommend it for every lover of VR. Then he won't listen to you. He won't let me in. I'm quite certain Mr. Tesla is a man of common decency. Of course he can't let you inside. I'll, I'll make sure of it. Please. I've played a lot of cooking and serving games in VR, and I think the crown jewel of them all is Horror Bar. Take on the role of bartender and serve friendly zombie customers a wild assortment of ghoulish drinks and meals. From eyeball cocktails, to ground brain burgers, freshly killed fish skillets, and much more. After a while, you'll have to deal with creatures getting in the way and disrupting your service. Speaking of which, in day 6 of your career, a spider will appear on your bar to get in your way. So I need to attach an arachnophobia warning to this game recommendation. I really love the creative and outlandish recipes available in here. Everything is bursting with personality and imagination. No other cooking game has kept me entertained as long as this one has. It's a ton of fun, and this would make a great party game too, with multiple people taking turns in the headset and watching. If you've been wanting to try one of the many cooking games in VR, I say this is the one to get. The price is $20.
Zing the Land Beyond is a journey through the afterlife where you follow in the footsteps of other souls and learn about the life they once lived. There's a handful of realms. Each realm has a unique theme and story about a particular character who lived there. You'll come across pedestals that are like poetic journal entries. Scouting atop the waves one day, a looming storm swept us astray. We screamed and gasped to stay alive, but in the end, only I survived. As you progress farther in each level, you'll get a deeper glimpse into that character's life as they reveal more story with each pedestal. Not long after my crash at sea, a sickness crept up over me. A pain which I'd never known. The thought that I would die alone. Most of the characters' stories are tragic, but they also teach valuable lessons. After finding hidden items inside the realms, you'll unlock more miniature story journeys as well. A bitter landscape, frosted white, she grew up in this icy cold. A glowing flame, her one refuge, in a place where most died before growing old. As far as the gameplay goes, it's a puzzle exploration game. The puzzle mechanics utilize the environment in creative ways. You have the power to change the environment from daytime to nighttime, change the weather, etc. And those elements are necessary to solve the puzzles and progress further. This game is gorgeous and zen-like. Unless you're frustrated by a puzzle, which definitely happened to me a couple of times. But most of the time it's relaxing, thoughtful, and contemplative. It took me about 12 hours to beat the main game, and many more hours to achieve 100% completion. For all the content, it's a great deal at 20 bucks, since it's a massive game with many stories to tell. My name was Sarid, King of Kings, prophesied to rule all things, the wind that wore down mountains tall. Before my feet, the world would fall. There was an issue of true psychic tales that talked about the rhombus of ruin, but I assumed it was just a legend. But it looks pretty real to me. Psychonauts in the Rhombus of Ruin is the first Psychonauts game made for VR. It doesn't require any knowledge of the previous games in the series, it does a great job of quickly introducing you into the story and how things work in this world. The story picks up from where it was left off in the previous game, with the Psychonaut crew flying to rescue the leader of the Psychonauts. But unfortunately, this rescue party is kidnapped and held prisoner in the Rhombus of Ruin. So it's up to Raz, our main hero, to use his psychic powers to reunite everybody, get back to the rescue mission, and find out who's behind it all. Out of my way, creeps! Or you are literally toast! The story is well written, engaging, and funny. The character development and voice acting are platinum grade. Each character really comes to life with their unique performances in this crazy adventure. I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. And that you knew you were talking out loud. You could hear me? Just that last part, about Lily. <laughs> the gameplay itself is a series of puzzles that you solve by utilizing special psychic powers at your disposal. After the tutorial, the main game starts with you having limited psychic abilities. You can only switch host bodies and poke objects. Hey, get out of the way. You're blocking the show. But as you progress, you regain more abilities like moving around objects and setting things on fire. Exactly what I would have done if it weren't for this stupid Silerium. All of the game mechanics are played by using your line of sight, like a cursor, to highlight things and activate your powers. There's basically no use of your motion controllers apart from pressing their buttons. And it's not a room scale game. You can pivot your position a little bit, but you can't walk around in the space or you'll quickly get out of bounds. But despite all of these limitations, the game is top notch. The story is unique and fun. The visual design and graphics are really beautiful. It feels like you're playing inside a Pixar movie. The game is a decent length as well. You'll get around two to three hours of playtime out of this, depending on how good you are at the puzzles and if you take your time to enjoy the scenery and story. So despite the limited VR utilization in this game, it feels like a highly polished AAA title. 
It's a fantastic story-driven puzzle adventure. The price is $20. Hey, that's my dad's old music box. That's beautiful, Lily. It used to be my grandma's. What's a family heirloom doing locked up in the jet? No idea, but I'm glad it's here. Torn is a narrative mystery in which you explore the abandoned mansion of Dr. Talbot. He guides you on the journey with his consciousness, represented by a fairy-like floating light. Take a look. Early in the game, you're granted the gravity tool. It can move almost any object, and you'll be using it a lot throughout the game. Most of the game, you'll be connecting lines of energy throughout the mansion using various props and furniture that contain symbols that match the missing pieces on the energy lines. Hunt for the missing piece, use the gravity tool to move it there, and then rotate it until it locks into place. Nicely done. That's what you'll be doing for the vast majority of the game. I personally believe that the puzzle mechanics in this game inspired the light path puzzles of Half-Life Alex, but that's just a theory. Even though you'll be doing mostly the same thing, it's still quite enjoyable, and I found a nice mental flow state while engaging in these puzzles. The mansion is large and beautifully designed, with quasi-steampunk technology and antiques. The voice acting is excellent, and there's a ton of it. You're almost constantly engaged in conversation with Dr. Talbot. And outside of that, he's narrating and giving backstory on almost every part of the mansion. Always thought one day Rena and I would be traveling the world together. <laughs> I guess we did that in a strange sort of way, even though I myself never left the country. The strength of this game lies in its exceptional storytelling, voice acting, house. and visual design. I beat it in a little over four hours, and I really enjoyed it. This is a great game if you love exploring mansions and unraveling the mysteries within them. The regular price is $30. So let's see, what notes can I take? I need reminders for the blog. Hmm. Rina's family is from Russia, they were wealthy, she was all about psychology, and so is Talbot, I guess, and they think the brain is a machine. These people are crazy. Floaty Flatmates is a multiplayer survival challenge which requires two players. The two of you are separated at sea on individual wooden platforms with a variety of odd props and tools. You both start out with a video tablet that lets you see what the other person's tablet sees, which is really useful. Communication will be very important between you two in order to figure out how to get out of this predicament. It's a very creative and refreshing puzzle challenge, and it's also a free download. Got it. You got another bridge thing. Area 51. Coming up is that uh, piece of paper. You see that? That has the code for the safe on it coming to you. Oh, nice. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya.